What's up, YouTube? So, I first want to apologize for the lack of uploading videos because I've been super busy lately with doing the house. If you didn't see on Instagram, um, me and my boyfriend got a house and we literally have to rebuild the entire thing because the guy that was there trashed it. So, we are literally like replacing like underflooring, walls, like bunch of stuff so we've been super busy with that um and just haven't really had a lot of time to record because if we do go to the gym we're just like in and out to try and you know get back to working in the house um and also we just haven't really had a lot of time to go to the gym because we're really trying to do this because there's just so much work that needs to be done and we're trying to get in there and so we're really focusing on that right now um but trying to go to the gym whenever we can. Ever, I know people say, like, make time. But on the weekends, like, we are literally there the entire day. Like, we wake up at, like, 8 a.m., eat and go there. And are there until, like, 11 or 12 at night. So, basically, we just get all the sleep we can and then wake up and do it again. Um, and my boyfriend has baseball twice a week. So, we're at that. And then they work all during the day during the week so we're doing, they've got that and then there's not really much that I can do at the house um so I've been trying to go to the gym during the day because when they get off work we go down there too um but yeah so I haven't really recorded because I've been going to the gym during the day instead of in the evenings or night and um I just haven't really recorded around these people and haven't had like just the, I don't know the motivation to go and set up and all this stuff and I don't have a tripod so I have to like move everything around and use boxes set my phone on and all this stuff so it's like basically an entire extra workout trying to record myself and like I said I'm going during the day so my boyfriend can't record either because he's at work so that's why I haven't really recorded and then I posted about a week ago that I was going to record a video about finding motivation because with the house and just all kinds of other stuff I've just been lacking like so much motivation I've just been out of it um I hadn't really been seeing results I was plateauing um with my body and just because I really really never had like a set workout plan like I would just kind of go in and be like okay legs today you know biceps triceps shoulders back whatever like so but I never really like did the same exercises for like weeks so my body was kind of just like all over the place and not like Instead of, like, doing exercises for, like, four weeks and then switching up, I just would switch up every time. And, like, obviously there's, like, some certain things that, you know, I would do every time, but not everything. So, it wasn't, like, a regular schedule. So, I haven't really been seeing results. So, I just kind of was getting upset with that and everything. But I was still going to the gym when I could, but pushed as hard as I could. But I wasn't really motivated. So, um making this video like I posted a week ago but then I got sick so I didn't get to record it so I'm recording it now because I have my motivation and I went to the gym today I killed some legs so I'm finally like not sick my body was still like just drained like I still don't have all my energy but I'm not sick anymore like I was had a killer sore throat and headache and neck pain and like I was starving all the time like I went from like starving to full every like two hours and that is not normal for me like normally I just eat you know every four to six hours um but I was like there was no like oh hey I'm getting hungry maybe I should eat or whatever it was like starving like I couldn't sleep I'd wake up in the middle of the night like just hungry wouldn't be able to fall back asleep and like just shoving my face with food so basically I ate a ton for like four or five days and yeah it was just everyone my boyfriend and his parents were like are you seriously still hungry and I'm like yes I am I'm starving so I tried to make sure that I was eating well actually I didn't try I did I made sure that I was eating healthy um because I was eating so much and that way I wasn't you know gaining like unhealthy weight or anything like obviously with taking off time from the gym and everything and eating a lot more food than my body's used to I was gonna gain weight I gained four pounds but I don't really know where it went probably probably went to my butt because it didn't go to my stomach because it doesn't look any different but yeah I was eating a lot but it's pretty much over now now I just get really hungry at like seven in the morning and I don't wake up that early because I have no job or anything to do that early so I sleep in and so I had to wake up and eat and then go back to sleep which is terrible 
but anyways so I'm gonna do this motivation finding motivation right now so there's a couple steps um, I'm sure you've seen other videos on finding motivation some things may be like some things may be different I don't know this is just what I did and do when I need motivation so first I make a new music playlist um, sometimes I sometimes listen to Pandora but I have iTunes me iTunes music um, so I do that so I have like playlists but um, there's only so many times that you can listen to the same playlist without like getting bored and like wanting to like click next every song so um, I made a new music playlist um, lots of upbeat things motivational songs like well not like you know like pump songs like stuff like that so I made a new music playlist which I was excited to listen to because it was new and it wasn't the same thing and I knew I wasn't gonna go in and be like all right well I can listen to like two songs and then I'm gonna have to hit next whatever so that's the first thing the second thing is write a workout plan um so that you don't go into the gym and just kind of be like okay what am I gonna do now like um or just like go in and do like four exercises and like be done and only half do it um like I said um, I hadn't really had a workout plan, so writing a workout plan that I'm going to do for the next, like, three to four weeks was definitely something nice, um, to kind of fall back on, so I didn't, like, wander around, like, what should I do next, blah, 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 like, I always did stuff, but it was nice to have that, and it's nice to, like, have a program that I'm going to follow for the next three to four weeks, like I said, um, so I just broke up my days, um, which I can always combine if I don't go to the gym, six days a week I can always combine like biceps triceps whatever you know I can always do stuff like that so um also another thing that you can do with writing a workout plan is try new exercises so that you're not bored um if you're going to the gym and you're doing the same things all the time like sometimes that can get boring and your body can just be used to those exercises so try to find like different ways of doing things like if you always just do regular squats do close stance squats or sumo squats or something like try to do something different because one you're going to enjoy learning a new exercise or doing something different that you saw and two your body is going to respond to it and be like what, what is going on but it's also going to benefit you it's going to build more muscle it's going to work different muscles it's going to you know be overall better if you find new exercises and then stick to those um, so do that with work, um, writing your new workout plan. Um, next workout, like a good time of the day or night, whatever you prefer. Um, if you like a crowded gym, then go when you know it's going to be crowded. If you don't like a crowded gym, then go, you know, when you know there's not going to be people there. Or if you're a person who likes to wake up and work out, then do that. Or if you're more of like a I like to work out at night person, then do that. Like, I prefer working out at night because there's no one really in there and I'm not, not the best morning person. Um, so, even though you're, it's a lot better if you work out in the morning, I know, but... I'm tired in the morning and I'm cranky and I, the last thing that I wanted to go do is just run to the gym but yeah so I like to go when it's not crowded and at night but I've been lately been going during the day and it's not really crowded so it's just it's not too bad but I don't know I just like going at night after dinner it's late I don't know I just like finishing the night except then I, I am awake all night like why did I work out so late <laughs> so yeah um anyways I prefer doing that. It definitely makes me enjoy my workout and be more, like, focused. I don't know. Um, next, um, when you're, like, going back or starting or trying to get motivation, work out something that you enjoy working out, like, um, like your muscle group. Um, like, I love to work out legs. Like, it's a love-hate relationship. Like, next day, I hate my life because I'm sore, but I love working out legs because it's something that I want to get better at and stronger and um, I'm trying to tone down my, or like tone my butt and my legs a lot more so it makes me happy going and doing something that I'm trying to work on and I know that I'll see results so that'll you know obviously help the motivation like wow I'm seeing more and more results and it's doing what I want so do you work on a muscle group that you enjoy working out on your first day back or when you're trying to find the motivation that first day and um or something that you're trying to get better. So like I said, I enjoy doing legs and I'm really trying to work on getting my legs better. So that's what I do to start. And then it makes me, makes me happy that I like went in and did it and worked on it. And I know 
that I'm gonna see results. Like it's a slow process, but I know in time it's gonna make me happy. So that's that's another step. Um, next, buy or wear a new outfit if you can afford it. Um, just because like as girls we always love getting new outfits of course and wearing them to the gym and showing them off and you buy things that you like to wear and you think you look good in or whatever so do that if you can. Um, as of right now I'm poor because I have no job and looking for one and just graduated a month, two months ago, a month ago, a month and a half ago. So. Um, if you can't afford it, wear, you know, one of your, like, your favorite outfits or, you know, like, something that you feel good in and you think that, you know, you look good in, you feel confident in and you want to, you know, show it off or, you know, just go in and think, like, better of yourself. You don't want to go in wearing something and be like, oh, I look fat or I don't look good in this or this shirt's too loose or this shirt's too tight or stuff like that. So, um, I know when I go in and something doesn't, like, fit me right, um, I definitely just some really thrown like I have a pair of pants that like twist a lot and it really bothers me and I just get annoyed with like fixing it so I just kind of like quickly sum up my workout because I'm over like fixing my pants and just want to like get back home and change so wear something new or something that you like um because it's all it's it's gonna motivate you like oh yeah like I look good or I love this outfit or whatever like it's just gonna put you in a good mood overall so that's another step um one thing that I do is also is I wear a hat um except for on leg day because I sweat like crazy and then I'm like ooh, like even more and then this is like dripping down my face and it's just even more disgusting so I don't wear a hat on leg day because I sweat the most on leg day um or cardio but wear a hat because then you're kind of like in your zone and like people aren't focusing on you or you don't see people and you're not worried about what everyone else is doing or is people looking at me or this and that I just feel that when I wear a hat, I am so much more focused and like to myself and not worried about like everything else going on around me. So I just, that's like kind of like, you don't get distracted. So you're more like, it's a way of motivating yourself, but keeping yourself focused. Like I lose motivation as soon as I get distracted or like focus, like unfocused. I'm just like, Ooh, blah, 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 like whatever distractions and then the rest of the workouts like usually so wear a hat keeps you in your, your zone keeps you you know going keeps you focused not wanting to worry about anything else next um record like for youtube or whatever you want to do record or don't record yourself um it just kind of depends whether you know if you're the kind of person that when you record yourself you work so much harder because you know other people are gonna see it then do that like do record yourself because then you're gonna work harder and you're gonna work to the potential that you can and you're not gonna slack because you know that someone's gonna see you or if or if you um sorry I lost train of that if you don't record yourself and you feel like you're more focused because you're not worried about the camera and adjusting and moving it and this and that then don't record yourself for me it's kind of a hit or miss it just depends um on how much I have to like move my camera around or kind of I don't know I just I'm a hit or miss but if you're the kind of person that when you record yourself you work like super hard and everything and like do what you can do because you know you're someone else is gonna see it or whatever then do that but if you get too distracted or like unfocused because you're worried about the camera and this and that and not like actually what you're doing then don't record yourself so it's just kind of an either or whatever kind of person that you are you can do that because that'll help like, I know there's times where I'm like, I'm going to be posting this video later and I want people to see like what I'm capable of doing. So I push my hardest. And there's other times where I'm like, camera, camera, this angle, that angle, where should I do? Where should I put it? How am I going to do this and that? And then I'm just like too worried about that and I'm not focused on my workout. So that's another step that you can do. Um, next, work out with a partner that is going to motivate you if you have a partner or a friend or whatever. Um, that way, like, they can come in and be like, oh, why are you slacking? What are you doing? Why are you resting? Like, you've been sitting there for five minutes or whatever. Like, do, I say like so much. I'm so sorry. It's so bad. It was one of the things I struggled in in one of my classes. Like, every time I do presentations, they're like, you say, oh, I'm in like too much. Whatever. So, work out with somebody if you can. Um, 
that'll motivate you. I don't have any girls around or stuff that are as motivated to go to the gym with me, so that makes it like super difficult for me. I hate it, but I work out with my boyfriend, but he's not into all of the exercises that I like to do, like glute stuff, like he's not into that. So sometimes it's difficult, but I know if I'm like sitting there, he's like, what are you doing? Why are you sitting there? Like, he's always on my butt. He always pushes me like, what, what are you, why aren't you working out, blah, blah, blah. So it definitely motivates me because either I know he's gonna come over and yell at me like, what are you doing? Why aren't you working out? Or um, he's there to like push me, like keep going, you know, like two more, two more, like don't give up, whatever. Like we're just there for each other and he pushes me and I know that if I'm slacking and he's cross gym, he's gonna come over and tell me to get up and do something. So that's another motivational thing. Um, another thing is when you do start working out and you find that motivation, make sure that you keep working out like the next few days before you take a day off because if you don't, then you find one day and then you don't work out the next day and then you're gonna be like, uh, and then you're gonna just start, lose all that potential and motivation that you had. So make sure that you work out days in a row, but don't kill yourself the first day that you go because then you're not gonna wanna go back. So go in and get a good workout, but don't work too hard to where like you, you can't walk. And then you're like, well, I can't go to the gym now because I can't walk and I don't wanna be this sore ever again, blah, blah, blah have a good workout but make sure that you work out days in a row otherwise you're not gonna want to go back if you take a day off after one good workout it's just how you lose that motivation again so keep that motivation by continuing continuing going um last thing avoid all negativity before you go to the gym because if you go in and you have a bad attitude or you're upset about something or mad about something you're already gonna be like Meh. unless you're like angry and then you just go in there and like murder your workout that's good but don't like get upset or down on yourself because then you go in the gym you're gonna be like oh this or that like i don't look good or i'm weak or just you're gonna find something to unmotivate yourself and make yourself put yourself down and then you're not gonna like look at these my shoulders i don't know <laughs> they look nice right now um but don't like try to stay away from anything that you know is gonna upset you or put you down before you go to the gym because then it's just gonna already make you not wanna be there. Like last week, I just had a lot of stuff. I'm trying to find jobs and I didn't get a job. And so that was just like, hmm. yeah, not, not what I wanted to hear, of course. No one wants to hear that they don't get a job. So, I was not in a good mood. I didn't want to do anything. Felt worthless. So I still went to the gym because I knew I'd be even more mad like in the future and then I didn't go. But I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to really do anything. I just kind of wanted to curl up in bed and like, die. I don't know. Not die, but just curl up in bed and like avoid the whole world forever. <laughs> so try to avoid things like that if you can. So avoid negativity. But anyways, that is my tips, steps, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, to finding motivation and getting in that gym, killing your workouts, and not just skipping or going in there and being like, yeah, oh yeah, no, you want the guns, everybody wants guns, biceps, they're not just for guys, they're for girls too. Anyways, so tips, steps, whatever you want to call it for motivation, find it, get it, go crush it because I did. You can always find it. You're always, you're not always going to be 100% motivated ever. It's not, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be motivated every single day of your life. There's things that are going to happen. So you got to find that motivation. Oh, and another thing that I do is I go and look, I go on YouTube or Instagram or whatever and like Twitter and so any social media and I look at girls that I look up to and that is one thing that I'm like okay she looks good she went to the gym today and yesterday and is gonna go tomorrow and everything else and I want to look like that I want to be like that I want to live that lifestyle so do that that's another thing that I forgot but yeah so I definitely am like wow look at look at that booty <laughs> I want that booty I don't know biceps triceps anything shoulders so you can also do that because then it'll encourage you 
motivate you to go to the gym. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Those are the tips. Use them, do whatever you want with them. I don't know. But that is all. Goodbye.